stupid because you could have been using Manscaped this whole time at manscaped.com code official. The end. Side note, it, it's all right to have pubic edge, but I, yeah, just trim yeah, just it. Just trim it. Trim it to the Goldilocks zone, which is somewhere around your taints. Like, you don't want to shave your asshole at all. That just complicates everything. But your dick and balls, you can yeah. uh, trim. Nothing wrong with pubes, but having like an unkempt wild 70s bush, like that's that's not great. You should get rid of that. Clean it's it up. peeking over your like underwear and stuff. Clean it yeah. up. Yeah, just <laughs> you can you can do it like a haircut. You can pick a number, be like, oh, I'll take a three on the sides. This is fine. Try it. Just don't let it grow. A nice you know? comb over. Yeah, a balding spot on your penis. <laughs> I gotta hide it. Yeah. <laughs> How embarrassing. A little, a little penis toupee to cover it up. <laughs> we should make penis toupees and sell them. That's great merch. That sounds totally useless. Even the most bald people on the planet still have crazy pubic hair. Isn't that just the worst? That is so unfortunate. Why 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 do we get pubic hair? Why is there so much pubic hair all if the time? You... I've always wondered that it's an evolution thing, so like when we were naked little Neanderthal caveman weirdos, we needed to keep those areas like our asshole and like penis region warm and like free from like debris and shit, so the hair would catch it kinda like it does for noses. At least that's what I read, so it'd keep it warm if and we... keep it kinda clean. It would have made more sense than if if we needed to keep it warm. Why do like why are our testicles on the outside? I've never understood the evolutionary benefit of that. Because yeah, those have to stay at a specific temperature, I think. You yeah, don't want why, them too though? hot or too cold. Why don't we just oh, evolve to have, like, yeah. internal heaters or something? Just fucking give us that technology. I mean, we could, we could literally it? sit here for fucking thousands of hours saying why this and why that when it comes to biology. There's a and million things. you should things. be saying, yes, and, Andrew, yes. you just fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and we should do that. Let's start the clock. Hour one. <laughs> For example, why do we need to eat food? Oh my I was God, thinking about yeah, this last why night. Why do we need to shit? Well, yeah, why do, why we, do shit? we need to sleep? Why do we need to breathe? We, we've, we've talked about the sleep thing. It, sleep makes no sense. Yeah, sleep is so fucking well, why do we, such Why do we need to breathe? Why don't we just absorb the air through our skin? Is there anything that doesn't need to breathe that's actually alive? I'm sure uh, there is. It's probably, probably like some bacteria or something. Oh yeah, water bears. Tardigrades. They can survive in the vacuum of space. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's not cool. Fuck those things. Yeah. That's scary. Also, I uh No, I don't think I don't think jellyfish count as alive. I don't think they technically count. We've we've had this argument yeah. before. I distinctly remember <laughs> I, I distinctly remember we couldn't decide if they were alive or not. <laughs> I think so here's here's where it came to jellyfish. They run on like um what what is it like just signals bouncing around their bodies yeah. basically like impulses. So there's no kind of sentience behind what they do. They just kind of mm -hmm. exist. And we couldn't decide if that meant they're alive or not. If they're just like rocks that move around based on impulses right or if there's some kind of sent You know what I learned last night though? Starfish are fucking creepy. Starfish are. are some of the worst yes. animals oh, yeah. ever. Holy shit. I thought they were like cute little things that I would go to the aquarium and like pet the top of. I never want to fucking touch a starfish again. There's They're disgusting. There's a very, uh, very cool fan comic that's floating around of if Patrick Starr from SpongeBob yeah, was a yeah. realistic starfish and all the creepy fucked up stuff he does. It's very neat. Like so what, they, what, do you, worse than what do you find super creepy about them, Jackson? Nearly everything. Like they have, I didn't know they had eyes. They have little eyes on the end of each of their arms. It's so weird. Oh, I didn't know that. And, the, I actually and they know eat. That either. They eat each other as well. The way that they eat is they actually. What, what's it called? It's like they turn their stomachs inside out, mm -hmm. outside of their bodies, and just digest their their prey that way. Yeah, they fucking so dissolve the them just, in acid. It's cool. But it's like their stomach actually like implodes out of the stomach and wraps around the thing. It's so weird. I hate it. I, and like, they have these like teeny I'm, little feet, like centipedes, yeah, that move. they use to crawl around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they can't do like that. They can gallop. You know, you guys know that myth that where like you can cut a worm in half and then now you have two worms. I think that's actually true for starfish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is I've true. always heard yeah. that. I think that one is yeah. accurate. It is accurate. You can so you cut off one of their arms and an entire new starfish grows from that. They're the worst. <laughs> they're like, they're aliens. I hate them. Like the, the fat ones are all right. They look fine. But there's like in the deep sea, there's like genuinely creepy looking starfish as well. They're not all cute. 
Ugh, I hate yeah. it. There's also um, a lot of people think that starfish usually just have five points like a star. You can have starfish with like 10, 12 arms and they look fucking terrifying. They look like bloodborne enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Once I, again, yeah, they're, they're uh, I'll stick to saying fuck sea creatures. All of them. Agreed. <laughs> fuck sea creatures. I, I'm with you there. Some sea creatures are cool, and I'd still like to explore it, but yeah, they're creepy. Yeah, the cute ones, what we should do is save the cute ones, like dolphins and shit, and then just poison the rest, just dump a bunch of nuclear acid into the oceans. Enough of this shit. Enough of having most of <laughs> planet Earth covered by scary stuff. So we just murder all of them because they're ugly? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's lookism at work. The incels were right. Mm. <laughs> we really are discriminatory. <laughs> we're, we're gonna create incel fish. It's gonna be the worst. <laughs> Just because I feel it was like born ugly. oceans. <laughs> I feel like oceans are just the the like the pits of Earth. Basically, you, you're not anything unless you leave the oceans. You evolved to leave the oceans. It's what everyone tried to do. No yeah. one evolved to go back into the oceans. We evolved to leave. That's true. You know what? That's a really good point. There in itself is the proof in the pudding. Like, you have to be an archaic, prehistoric beast, demon creature from hell itself to still be in the waters. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you if know what? Fuck, choice, it. Fuck dolphins too. No alliances. I really don't <laughs> like the ocean. It just it creeps me out so much, man. Maybe dolphins are the only things keeping those in the ocean though. They're like guarding us <laughs> against the horrors of the deep. They're our bros. They are pretty and then they smart. come to SeaWorld and do awesome trips through tricks through hoops and stuff. Yeah, they I love doing that too. <laughs> <Yeah>. Do <laughs> they though? Fans. Do yeah, they? Fun. Oh yeah. Do they? Dolphins and whales love it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they do. Oh yeah. It's like getting it's like getting drafted to the NFL. It's like wow, I can't wait to compete at SeaWorld. That's Leave right. This what? Life it's, of it's like getting misery behind. It's like they they can't getting yeah, drafted into a tuna can for a whale. Yeah. You guys remember when at <laughs> when at one whale ate its trainer, just grabbed yeah. her by the head and kissed, smushed her. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> dolphins and whales. Dolphins and whales can't stand being in captivity. They regularly kill themselves or lash out. That's just what they. That's what they want you to believe. <laughs> Fuck! They, I they believed it, big dolphin. You're right. Fuck me. Yeah. You can't. You can't trust what the dolphins are saying. We know it's better <laughs> for them. I mean, look, that's they're doing flips. Union propaganda. They're trying to get increased wages. Who does a <laughs> flip and isn't happy about it? That's a good point. Yeah, they have all kinds of like. They get company. They get yeah. hula hoops. They're forced to sing on command. Who wouldn't love to sing? They get their own arena. They get health benefits. They get like vets to come out and check them. They get small like children that. to clap at them. It's amazing. Free dental. Fuck, I wish I was a dolphin. 401k paid entirely in tuna. Dude, it's pretty good. Do dolphins and whales eat tuna? I think it's usually like brine, like plankton or something. No, that's, they eat fish, that's, Charlie. That's whales. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm thinking of whales. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen the shows at SeaWorld where the, they do a trick and then they go up and the trainers throw fish in their mouths? No, I've, I've only I've, seen I've... the ones where they throw little individual krill into their mouth and they jump <laughs> It by. takes an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually have never seen any of those shows because I've always hated it. I've always my, hated uh, that idea. My brother actually used to be a sea lion, like, not not the guy in the show, but the guy who had to work in the back and, like, feed and train them for... <laughs> <laughs> the one with world. the whip in the back that was your brother yeah. <laughs> well, it was just cool because he worked at uh, he worked with the animals and got me in for free when I was a kid it was cool that is cool yeah those are I always still... the dream jobs like I don't know what it en entails entirely and if it's entirely ethical or whatnot. but you guys know when you it's see not... those videos of like a zoo keeper a zoo caretaker weighing penguins and shit it's the most oh, adorable so stuff so cute Penguins are still some. Penguins have to be one of the most adorable animals on the planet. They're yeah. just well, all so of them. I just mean in general. Like, starfish. Here's this zoo trainer teaching this otter how to swim. It's like, oh my god, this is so cute. This is the best job ever. Ever. Like, how do you get this? I know. Yeah, what you don't see though is, also, yeah. as someone who worked at a zoo, what you don't see is the shoveling shit. <laughs> and yep. It's mostly shoveling <laughs> shit. Yeah. Zoos so, constantly yeah. smell like shit. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, but the animals appreciate it when you keep it clean for them, so it's kind of rewarding because you're making the animals happy. And they reward they you care. by sleeping all day. Which is cute. <laughs> They're cute when they yeah. sleep. <laughs> that is pretty cute. Yeah. I love animals. Same. Same. 
What do we have, boys? I had another topic, but I've completely forgotten it now. Don't you hate that? I, it's def- I, it's such a bad feeling, yeah. <laughs> it, I, it makes me so frustrated. My memory issues genuinely anger me now. Like, well, I just sit there should. thinking... Well, shut up. You, I'm trying to relate to you, Charlie. You just said that you <laughs> forgot to. <laughs> I forgot a topic. You forget your own name. Like, you literally forget everything. I do not forget my own name. It's not that bad. I, I did go to the doctors about my memory issues, though. Um, really? Because they were actually beginning to concern yeah, how me. how bad is it? I went about other stuff as well. Well, it is pretty, it's, it's, it's not like... I, I've never met someone with worse memory than Jackson. Like, yeah, to describe I mean it. Although... Oddly enough, I, I'm more on time than you for stuff that, that we do together. That's just bad planning from me, but yeah, you're, that is true. I, I never forget if I like make professional plans or anything like that, or, or our work commitments. But if, if you ask me to recall a fact about some, like a conversation we've had in the past, I just cannot oh. recall th- stuff. It, it's not even conversations, it's literally anything. Holy like, shit. Don't forget entire like days <laughs> no that explains everything yeah. that's why jackson watches movies 11 times in the theater it's a fresh watch every time <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait to oh, see jurassic, jurassic world, world dominion hopefully this one's good <laughs> <laughs> well jackson do you think um, that's memory issues or do you think maybe it's just boring shit that you don't want to remember or don't care to remember I don't know how much I would want to get into it, but yeah, when I went to the doctors, we had a talk about some, uh, yeah, what what it would be a symptom of, and we 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 did pin it down to a couple of things potentially. Now, Jackson, um, this is important. Do you remember yeah. what the doctor said? Yeah, no, I need to go back again. <laughs> I need to remember to book another appointment. <laughs> Leaf with a sticky note on your forehead. Fucking memento. He starts <laughs> tattooing it on his body. Do you guys remember poor choice of words? Do you guys remember the um the the movie with Adam Sandler, Fifty First Dates? Yes. Yeah. That's like my life. No. I need like to wake up with a video d- detailing a fucking, my life so it's far. It's terrifying to me. She has a videotape at the end. Fucking spoilers for this movie, by the way. But she has a videotape at the end that's like, hey, you're my wife. This is our fucking child. Here's the life we all had. Imagine living that every single day. That's terrifying. And just having to trust Double that video. Yeah. Yeah. He's still a stranger. He's still a stranger They're in that They're all moment. strangers, and your whole life is strange to you. And it's like, if you're on your own or like an assisted living facility, then I get it. But you have to have a whole husband and family and all this shit. It's like, how do you live like that? You would never... I like it. It's terrifying. I like how it was meant to be like a happy romantic ending, but she's literally trapped in a boat with people she doesn't know. She's trapped in purgatory. She's literally in a hellish purgatory that never ends until she dies. Yeah. Fuck me. It's not that bad. It's not that bad for me. (laughs) What would you guys do if you woke up tomorrow in like a hospital bed and the doctors come in and explain, okay, you've been in a terrible accident. You have zero memory. Anyway, this is your girlfriend and it's the like ugliest, fattest bitch and she's 50. I'd probably leave her on the spot because I wouldn't care about her at all. I, I like how everyone was stumped. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where that came scratcher. from. Yeah, that, that, that wasn't even like 50 first dates. That was just out of nowhere. I was just like, what if you woke up in a vat of poopy and you were told you had to eat it? Like, what you, would you do? You give us... Like, is she actually our girlfriend? I, I guess we wouldn't know for sure. But like, in this hypothetical, yeah, would she know. actually like, be our girlfriend? So is this doctor sure, just pulling not? a prank on us? Like a, like a mean prank? What is oh, this? Oh man, I would totally pull that prank on you if you had amnesia. That's true. Yeah, you would. <laughs> you would. <laughs> that would I would be just, so awesome. Every single day I would just remind Jackson of the hundred dollars he owes me. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's all I do. <laughs> just profit off my memory loss. It's easy. I'd be such a fucking idiot, I'd keep doing it too. Assassin's Creed. Every single night, oh, you sick son of a Jackson. Bitch. <laughs> every single night, I would sell you Star Wars memorabilia for a couple hundred bucks, and then when you go to bed, I'd sneak into your house and steal it and sell it to you again the next day. And I just do that. Every-